What is going on, everybody? I am Jabby Kawai, and we are going to look at Craven the Hunter, the official Red Band trailer. However, because this is YouTube and YouTube will demonetize me if I show too much violence, there will be some parts of this trailer that are censored. If it's too gory, uh, I'm going to try my best to leave most of that you know, intact, untouched. If you want to see the uncensored version, if you join our Patreon or memberships of this YouTube channel, you'll be able to get access to that. No problem. So if you guys haven't done so already, please do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Trailer to the trailer. All right. My son, never show mercy. They are prey. Shit. We are predators. Boys, your mother is dead. She died because you sent her away. She was weak, sick in her mind. You know my business, yes? Power is about strength. If you show weakness, you will give our enemies an opening. Shoot. Shoot. Ah. Oh. He is weak, like his mother. Leave him. What happened that day? I stared death in the face, and for the first time, I saw my true self. Tell me about this hunter. They say he uses a connection with animals to track his prey. And once you're on his list, there's only one way off. The six of us, and only one of you. There's six of you now. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit. Why do you hunt? My father puts evil into the world. I take it out. Uh, oh, damn. Some kind of honor. You are exactly like our father. Just another man hunting for a trophy. The murderers. Oh, that was us. Do that to me anymore. Mr. Teglin? Mr. Teglin? Where's Mr. Teglin? Oh, you're standing in him. Oh. You're a goddamn lunatic. Oh, you just figure that out now? one of us. Don't you want to know why they call me the Rhino? How are you guys feeling about this interpretation of Craven the Hunter? My first impressions with what little I know of Craven the Hunter, because my exposure to him has largely been like the animations, the Spider-Man 2 trailer. So I'm going off of limited data here when I give my analysis of this. The first thing I was expecting was an accent. I asked for an equal and this is what you find. And that didn't come out, which I guess is fine. I'm wondering how you guys feel about that. The violence, I'm wondering if the Red Band trailer is a taste of what we will get, meaning the violence will be even bigger and more graphic in the film itself. Like, I, I'm wondering if, you know, Red Band only gives you so much bandwidth for what you're allowed to show on YouTube, or if you're allowed to show whatever the heck you want. I have no idea what that threshold is for when YouTube's like, yo, you cannot put that out there. We are taking that down. I would imagine with something like this, you're going for an R, you could go even harder in that direction and make it even more violent than what we saw here. That being said, the tone that they're going for feels a little bit like it's it's still speaking to that sort of Marvel vibe, which is while it's violent and while it's you know serious in action, you're still gonna get a degree of comedy in there. This is dealing with some interesting stuff though that I don't know we've seen 
to this degree in other Marvel stories so far that I can recall off the top of my head, namely the aspect of him dealing with his dad in that way. This is me, again, speaking from near total ignorance because I don't know his backstory all that well. It seems to me that at some point he's got to fight his father. They, I mean, they showed Rhino in there as a, as a nemesis in the film, but I have no idea if he's going to have to go head to head with fighting his dad and taking his dad out. That's an interesting dilemma. That's an interesting, you know, conflict to have to deal with in this story because... That's your dad. For anyone who's come from a weird, non-traditional relationship with their parents, and, and, and non-traditional in the sense of, that's a weirder to phrase it, and it has a weird connotation to it. What I mean is an abusive parent, right? And so if you're coming from that kind of background, maybe you find this more relatable. Like you are at that kind of conflict with your parents to the point that it's like you're, you know, completely at odds with them. You're estranged. And when you have contact with them, it's a, it's a fight, you know? Maybe not with the fisticuffs or the violence, but... It's a fight nonetheless. I don't know. His backstory is interesting. He's coming from animals, but I guess that's the case with a lot of superheroes. I mean, you know, Spider-Man, you got spiders, Batman, you got bats, and Superman, you got soups. The one thing I wish for, because of the tone, it seems like they're trying to strike, uh, at least to a certain degree, is I, I wish that the overall color palette was a little darker, a little bit more punchy or contrasty. Right now, it, it has a sort of brighter look to it that feels kind of like Venom and almost like Spider-Man. For me, something like this, it feels like you wanna go more towards the direction of what they did with something like Blade, where it had a more darker feel to the whole thing. And I don't mean in terms of the violence or the the the, the tone of the story, I just mean the, the look of it right now. Uh, what's interesting to me is the, the logo. I'm not sure if that's how it looks in the comic book covers, but the logo very much, the font reminds me so much of Black Panther. That's not a bad thing, I mean, they're both, animal things, panther, lions, you know, I, I don't know what a craven is, but it's not a terrible thing to borrow from if they're borrowing from Black Panther. It kind of makes sense. The gloss and the structure of the font looks like Black Panther to me. Shouldn't dwell on that any longer. Otherwise people will get annoyed. Russell Crowe has become part of the MCU. I like Russell Crowe. Who doesn't like Russell Crowe? I think that he brings a certain gravitas to the role. He's a great actor. I have no idea if he's phoning it in or if he's, I mean, it's hard to say from the trailer, but I like what he does in general. And so to have him as this father figure in the film or literally a father in the film, for me, he's kind of the perfect actor for that kind of role to have this sort of intimidating presence. There's something in the way that Russell Crowe carries himself, the way he looks, his voice, all of that speaks to a man who could be a very intimidating figure to look up to as your dad. I can only imagine. No offense to Russell Crowe if you're watching this. I'm just saying like he ha he can he brings that quality to the table. So Again, I don't know shit about Craven the Hunter from the comics, uh, but as far as I can tell from this story, he is actually a great pick for that role. So Aaron Taylor Johnson, my first exposure to him, like most of you guys, was kick ass, and then I saw him again in Godzilla. Between Godzilla and this, I honestly don't remember where else I've watched him. This is the third, like, actual memorable impression I have of him since Godzilla. I think that physically, he definitely has the Craven the Hunter look. You know, I just looked at some of the comic book images of him and I'm like, oh, actually, like, this actually, he actually really fits that. Uh, the only thing I'm wondering about is, like, the way he talks. For some reason in my mind, and maybe it's just because I saw the Spider-Man 2 trailer recently, I had a different impression of how he should, like, speak and how he should, you know, how he should carry himself in that way. Because right now, he, he feels closer to... Oh, who was a good comparison? Maybe Hugh Jackman uh, in as Wolverine. I have no idea. Like he, that's that is more, or even the way Tom Hardy carries himself. It doesn't remind me of what I just saw in Spider Man 2's video game trailer or what I remember from the animation. It feels like m more normal and less of a character. Does that make sense? In any case, the way Aaron Taylor Johnson is built. It feels like it lends itself well to the agility that they want to have on display for Craven the Hunter in this movie, in this interpretation. I think it works very, very well. I mean, he's he's got it down and he's able to move. Uh, it definitely has that sort of animalistic vibe to it, the way he is fighting. Uh, I would argue a, a little bit more than Black Panther uh, as evidenced by this trailer so far. I mean, obviously Black Panther's got his claws, all right? And the way he kind of moves around in the trees and stuff like that. But here, he's like he's going full primal, like biting your face off and spitting it out and blah, 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 like a, like a lion might do or something. I don't know how lions eat or kill, but uh, I, it definitely felt like an animal 
who was eating and killing. I would imagine that, and I'm sure most people are guessing this that have watched this trailer. I would imagine that by the end of the film or the after credit scene, the obvious direction to go would be to evidence that he's gonna have an encounter with Spider-Man at some point. It's interesting that he's got his own story where he's kind of the, well, well he is the protagonist in his own story, right? But the way, the picture that's being painted here is he's almost like a hero. And that makes it kind of weird to think that he's gonna be in a conflict with Spider-Man at some point because he's a bad guy to Spider-Man. I'm wondering how they're gonna handle all that. This is a very, very smart strategy by Sony because nothing is a coincidence. They've got Craven the Hunter in the video game and he's got his own film. So you're gonna get exposure to him in the game and tons of people who are Marvel fans are playing Spider-Man, are gonna play Spider-Man 2, the video game. And then he's got his, his movie coming out. And so it's a nice parallel. Uh, the interpretations of the character seem different though. And so I have no idea. I, I So I'm, I'm really wondering how people are gonna feel about Aaron Taylor Johnson's version of Craven the Hunter. Me personally, because I don't, because my exposure to Craven is very minimal, I can adapt to this and I can accept it. Um, but I can imagine how like diehard Craven the Hunter fans are gonna feel about this. Anyway, that's for the comments. That's for the internet to decide, not for me to speculate. I've enjoyed what I've seen so far. Uh, cautiously optimistic after Venom 2. Uh, you guys let me know your feelings in the comments below. Please subscribe, hit that bell icon, please all notifications and vote this up. I'm Jabby Kaway. Peace out.